Well, I'm joined by Max Dice, a new name to Woking fans. Uh, Max, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the game, which obviously has been a great victory uh, in a moment, but just tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and how, how the move to Woking came about. Yeah, so I'm at Northampton Town. I'm a third-year pro, and I've been there since I was a kid, so I come through Rugby the Academy. Um, yeah, the interest from Woking came at the start of the window, and I was eager to come. And unfortunately, we had a couple of injuries at our place, which meant that I couldn't. And I was back in the squad at Northampton. But fortunately, the gaffer let me out on Thursday evening. So I signed. <laughs> you make point. it sound like you were yeah, locked in I a know. room. <laughs> no, it was, it was literally a spur of the moment thing. And I'm buzzing that I got it over the line. Um, managed to join the boys yesterday and had a really good chat with the gaffer and, and the staff here. Um, the club's got a good reputation and I was, I was eager to come and eager to play. And yeah. especially at a ground like this, I mean, you couldn't ask for much more for a first game, really, especially with the win and the clean sheet. Yeah, I mean, we're all flipping chuffed and, yeah, for, as far as debuts go, I couldn't have asked anything better. Well, no, exactly. I mean, obviously, as you know, the club's been on a, a difficult run. Coming in, I think you joined yesterday, as you, you know, met the boys on the way up in the coach and then came in to the Lions Den, if you like, here at Oldham, which is a big ground, big crowd. I mean, how did you find the game and being alongside Scott Cuthbert as well? No, I loved it. Um, Scott's a brilliant role model for me. Played loads of league games, been around for a long time. Same with um, Turns, assistant manager. I've learned yeah. a lot. I'm going to learn a lot from them too, hopefully, over the, the coming weeks. And no, it's, it's great to have an elderly presence next to me. I think that I try and build myself on trying to be a leader and a communicator and having an old head like him next to me to guide me down that path is going to be really important. Yeah. So you just said elderly, elderly presence and older heads. So we'll, I'm sure... I'm experience sure you, is probably a better <laughs> experience. way. Experience. There we go. There we go. And in terms of the game, how do you find the game? Good. I thought it was a really big contest and we knew they had talent. We knew they had threat um, and they're a team that can mix it well. And obviously they've shown a turn over the last four wins and it's a really tough place to come as you iterated to earlier. But no, it was, it was really important. I think that we, we managed to turn them over and we managed to get on the front foot and play hard and play tough. And picking up the second balls, winning the physical battle really helped us gain some momentum in the game. And yeah. it was a great time for us to score. And I think it really shocked them. Well, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it did. And you, obviously, you got Fondop and Norwood down the middle, and then one of them goes off, and you get Dallas come on. So it's uh, were you put on particularly one of the men, or was it? You, I don't know how it goes in terms of were you put on to mark one of them, or yeah, did... not specifically. It's, it's no. more you know you stay in your slot and you wait for your man to come to you. But right. I think with with me and Scott talking at the back, I think they really made a difference today. Um, Tunji and Jermaine and Jim in the first half. Yeah. I thought them three were excellent in midfield and they really helped us gain a foothold in the game. Uh, marshaled the midfield, moved the ball around in front of their defence when they sat in really well. And I think that allowed us to gain that momentum and gain that territory and really put it under them under the cosh and put some good threats in the box. Yeah, I mean, you have to win any game, I suppose. However good the team is, you have to win the physical battle and really did that in midfield as well as in defence, didn't they? And then we, but then we played some nice stuff. I mean, it was great seeing... Some of the young lads up front, the new lads up front, moving it around. No, I think we did, yeah. I think we had some really good patches. Uh, but specifically at the end of the first half, we had a couple of minutes spell where we were moving it side to side around the edge of their box. And I think that when we had more moments like that, again, there was a few of them in the second half. And the yeah. more we can do that, the more we can keep teams penned in, the more goals will come and then the results will start coming in. I think that the performances, especially from building on from Chesterfield and, and this today, if we can build some consistency in the character in the group, then... I've yeah. no doubt that we'll go flying up the league. Brilliant. Well, thanks, Max, for your time. Welcome to Woking. We look forward to seeing you again. And, uh, yeah, safe, you. Tri safe and happy trip home. Yes, exactly.